Freak, uh, it's been a little while since we spoke to you. You've been here a couple of months now. How are you enjoying your football? Yeah, I think I'm um, buzzing with how things have been going. We had a bit of a little, um, a bit of a dip, but I think we're back to how we want to play our football and yeah, I'm buzzing with it personally. Obviously, you're a little way from home. I think you're down here on your own. How are you finding the city of Plymouth and, and being around the area? Yeah, it's, um, it's really nice. Obviously, there's, um, for me personally, it's good to experience new places and kind of explore and see what's out there. Of course, it must help a little bit that we're, the team is going really well, flying high. You're playing a big part in that. Uh, what's the mood like in the dressing room? Uh, I think it's um, it's just kind of excited, really, like really um, just happy to be playing that kind of football that we like. And, winning games on, on the way. Seems like uh, you personally and the team as well are really embracing the, the supporters and, and going through it together. Um, it must feel really good to have that kind of bond with the supporters even though you, like you say you've only been here a couple of months. Yeah of course like um, I think from the moment I stepped in the building really it was just from the players from the staff and the fans in the first game you just kind of feel welcome so it helps a lot especially in the performance. You, you may not be aware of it yourself, but the, the club has, has had kind of a long-standing um, pathway, I guess, for, for young Bristol City learnings. We've had uh, Joe Bryan, um, players like that come through. Are you hoping to sort of emulate their success and do the same thing? Yeah, hopefully. Obviously, um, before I came, I heard about those successful loans as well, so kind of in the back of your head, you think, yeah, I'd love to do that too. So, yeah, hopefully I can. And you've obviously got experience of, of a promotion push last year with, with Newport. What You obviously fell short slightly in the playoff final that year. What lessons do you think you can take from that and, and maybe go one further this time? I think it's just um, just taking every game as it comes, really. I think we kind of got a bit um, too overwhelmed with the situation, I think, just to focus on each game as it comes. And the next game, obviously, is Morecambe. What are you expecting from them? Um, obviously, it's, a, it's going to be another tough, tough test. You know, There's um, no easy games in this league, so... We're going to go out how we would any other game. Wish you best of luck. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.